Hello everybody. So today I'm going to tell you about some modifications I made to my Wren uh, by McNeela that uh, actually I think have improved it quite significantly. So the first thing that I did, which was kind of stupid, um, is I added these uh, fancy papers. But the fancy papers, in the process of adding those, you have to stretch out the bellows and leave them extended for a period of time while the papers dry. Uh, this actually allowed the bellows to lose some of their stiffness so now the instrument can move and bend a little bit easier than when I got it out of the box. Um, I had some other issues with some of the reeds and I had some issues with some of the buttons. So one of the solutions that we came up with for um, the reeds was just to pluck them out like you would. Uh, typically you take a little razor blade or uh, exacto knife and just get into the reed and then just um, pluck it out until the debris is out of there. Um, I do recommend opening your uh, your case when you get it because uh, I had a lot of dirt and debris and metal material in mine and that was a no-go item. I also uh, have heard of a lot of other people having stuck buttons and I think we've finally cracked that nut so I'm going to share what I did for that. Um, basically the design here has a flaw and that flaw is the fact that when you depress the button down too far the angle of the button uh, changes drastically and so it wants to get stuck inside of uh, that housing the the channel that's in here so if you look here you know as you depress a button uh, it actually is rotating in there because they're on these rubber stoppers that are keeping them from falling off of the uh, the arms that they're on so what we did was we took a piece of cardboard and all we did was we just cut out a pattern on the outside uh, rim of the case and we just inserted that cardboard there and you can actually see here it's about I think it's about a millimeter or two of gap that I now have in here now this gap is between the housing the outside housing and the uh, plate that holds all your reeds and your buttons and everything else. So that's not actually affecting the uh, the bellows being sealed. Uh, but what it does do is it makes your buttons a lot shorter. So if you look side long here, let's see if I can get a good angle on this, you'll notice that my buttons are extremely short. And actually this seems like a problem, but it's it's been kind of a benefit because I have had zero stuck buttons. And anytime that I forget when I take this apart and I put it back together and I forget to put the um, uh, cardboard back in, it always starts getting stuck again. They start running into each other. And uh, honestly, what they should do for these uh, for these Wren is when they do a redesign, if they ever do, uh, is make the buttons taller and also raise the bottom platform up because the arms and things that are operating underneath are don't have the tolerance parameters to support uh, the rotations at the at those long angles so yeah it's a that's a quick fix for how to get your run to not have stuck buttons but you will have shorter buttons because of it um, when you start to put the plate back on it'll look kind of bad because it'll look like they're almost damn near flush with the with the casing of the instrument um, that's okay it will sink down now that's another thing that I noticed too when we were doing this um, and had some help but you can actually take these uh, holes that are here uh, to, for these screws. And if they're loose or just spinning in place, uh, you can take a, a toothpick. I learned about this. This is uh, handy. You can take a toothpick and put that down in there. Usually like a shaving of a toothpick is more than sufficient. And a little bit of, little bit of glue. And let that dry out. And then that will allow the, uh, the screw to sink in better. So a little, little trick there for that. Um, what else do we do? Oh yeah. So another design flaw of the Wren, unfortunately, is that the handles are terrible. Um, I didn't make these. My father-in-law made these. These are gorgeous uh, Paduk. But um, these here are actually a lot taller than the ones that you get. So when you when you put the instrument in your hand and you feel like your hands are kind of cramped or the uh, wrist straps fall onto your knuckles, like right here ouch not very playable so what we did was we raised up that threshold uh, so that your your hand rests is much higher and uh, that helped significantly with uh, hand fatigue and being able to push the buttons in play so everything worked out well for that 
Um, another modification that I did was I inserted a piece of just craft felt. Okay, it doesn't, you don't have to use uh, Irish colors, of course, but, you know, why wouldn't you want to? But I just used the good old orange and green here. Um, it's it's a very rebellious accordion, or uh, concertina, so, you know, it seems appropriate to have Irish colors on it. Um, but, uh, yeah, <laughs> it hasn't dampened the sound, per se, but what it has done is some of those shriller tones, uh, I think those are kind of the... Um, the higher, really high frequency harmonics that just, it has lowered the amplitude of those higher frequency harmonics. So it's evened out the sound of the instrument quite a bit. So a little bit better there, especially on the treble side. Uh, I don't know about you, but I play the treble side when I first got this instrument and I, my ears kind of cringed a little bit. Um, because those those reeds were just so uh, metallically ear piercingly loud and and ringing, uh, and the felt has helped immensely with that. So I I strongly recommend uh, doing that. I'm not a hundred percent sure that the that this piece of fabric that I have on the exterior has helped at all, um, but I want to say that maybe there's a possibility. Uh, that it has also helped dampen the sound a little bit and given it a little bit, little bit more smoothness. Um, but overall, uh, having the buttons lower has not impacted the ability to play anything. Yeah. So I mean, you, you can you can do whatever. Um, I'm not very good. <laughs> I'm an engineer. I don't. I don't. I don't play very good. This is just for funsies. But, um, but I do. I do like playing a quality instrument. So I have uh, decided to I've decided to keep this one. Um, obviously, I've I've decorated it quite extensively and uh, plan on holding on to it for a while, um, if not forever. But um, might get inherited by one of my kids in the nearer future. But, uh, but yeah, I'm going to invest in a, in a Tedro accordion or a concertina here very shortly. So I, I started off playing the, uh, piano accordion and then decided to switch to the chromatic button accordion, which I love very much, but I got curious about diatonics and now I have one of these. <laughs> so, so that's where we're at. I'm just starting to learn the concertina, um, in addition to trying to learn the chromatic button accordion and... Um, might as well show this too because you know well, let's do a little shout out for the Melodia um, this is a Slovenian one um, so I, I really love this instrument it has such uh, beautiful sounds I'm not going to play it right now because it's kind of late uh, and it does get very loud <laughs> but uh, but yeah it's uh, the diatonics in in the what you might call a Melodian um, it uh help kind of bridge the gap to concertinas so um although i'm not very good with the concertina yet but uh having these fixes has made it much more enjoyable to try to learn on the instrument so i highly recommend that you take a look at building your own uh hand rests and putting those in it's very easy to change them out very easy to make your own straps i have one uh, custom made strap so far working on the other one and then uh, add those papers you can get um paper is really cheap i got mine for like 15 bucks or something like that i think with shipping um you can also print your own uh whatever you want to do and add cloth to help even out those tones and do raise the platform up a little bit so that you don't get those button sticks because those can be infuriating i could not play the instrument and check out all your reads make sure they're good i still have one that's kind of Of course, it's not going to do it right now, but it gets kind of wheezy and kind of ringy sometimes. Um, but other than that, um, this instrument's now a lot more playable, and it's definitely worth um, worth what I paid for it now. <laughs> um, now that I've done all these all this work to it, and I've had a lot of help getting uh, getting all this work done to it. So, uh, yeah, give your give your cheap instrument a makeover and give it a little bit of love and it will treat you a lot better too when you try and learn from it. So that's all for now. Thanks.